I'm Heather. Hi, I'm Yancy. And on this episode of Tipsy Talk TV, we are talking about The Bachelorette. This episode is brought to you by Stoli Salted Caramel Vodka and Almond Breeze Milk. So it's a health drink. Okay. All right. In this episode, we talk about how if you're a contestant on The Bachelorette, don't talk about how you watch The Bachelor because that is creepy and gross. <laughs> we talk about don't dip. Don't talk about dipping. Don't ever bring it up again. Yes. Um, and life's journeys. Always wear shirts. <laughs> Always wear a shirt. So stay tuned. Look predictions for Final Four before the episode ever gets started. We're going to do our predictions. Look how serious we are about this. <laughs> Dan to be in the finals. At least my predictions for my Final Four. Ben. 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 Why am I even showing these pictures? They don't even come up. That's James. I think Dan. Um, Robert. Dan, Robert, those are good choices. I'm not, um, you know, Mikey, no one's going to marry anybody. Either. <laughs> so, and I guess maybe Let's see Drew. Those are the, hopefully some of them are funny, because if not, they have nothing going for them. She's crying. We aren't into this three minutes. She's already crying. I think that um, throughout this season, our drinking game should be every time someone says journey, you have to take a drink. That's a good idea. <laughs> I'd like someone to show up on a Segway or on a scooter. <laughs> or in a like or like in a jazzy scooter. And they have and they have no legs. So they have to make it past the first round or the bachelor or bachelorette. Everyone would think, oh, you're an ableist. You don't like handicapped people. <laughs> Those are supposed to be 25 of the most eligible men in America. I'm moving out of the country. Oh, God, he brought a wishbone. Really? He's out. I want, I want a smelly old bone. That's every girl's dream. All of these men seem to have a lot of knowledge about The Bachelor and Bachelorette franchises, and that is a red flag to me. Like, any boy I meet, like, even knows what network those shows are on, no, I'm not talking to you, I'm not doing anything with you, get out of my face. Amazing hashtags. Amazing hashtags about her. Amazing hashtags. Amazing hashtags. Uh, what am I supposed to say to that? Let the journey begin. Let the journey begin. Hashtag get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> you are gross. Casey, you're out. <laughs> oh, there's Jonathan. There's Mr. 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 Date Rape. Jonathan. Oh my god, this guy is out one with no shirt on. Really? Like. Oh god. Why he he had the, he did the first one. He should have yeah. quit when he was ahead. Why did he continue to like roll her around on the concrete? Yeah. What the hell, Larry? If I had to picture a, like a Taylor slash musician to like cast in a movie or in a TV show, that's exactly what I would cast. Lots of hair gel. What's his name? Lots of hair gel. Wearing something purple. Um, like three day old stubble. That's what Taylor slash musician. Magician means to me. <laughs> oh my god. Why is this guy doing this? Why is he coming in this in a night costume? Because he doesn't have a personality, so he has to do something to stand out. Why is he doing Or that? he just got off his shift at medieval times. <laughs> so awful. Has any has anyone ever done shit like that before? <laughs> Didn't somebody come in like a helicopter one time? Or yeah. Something? Like, yeah, everybody loved him. Really? No, like, they hated him. Okay. He was such a douche. Such a douche that can just pretty much describe all of these guys, so. Ew, no. A man that knows anything about Grey's Anatomy, another red flag. No, no. And that also comes in no. his, like, dentist white coat. No. No. Uh -uh. Juan Pablo. Juan Pablo. Juan Pablo. 
I think the only thing he knows how to say in English is his own name. One cares about your motorcycle. Put it away. Oh my god, this guy looks like a really creepy guy from one of the previous seasons. He was like, you, you, you captured my heart or something. He had it tattooed on his hand, and then she kicked him off that episode because it was so weird. Oh no! No! I hate oh, stop! I hate poetry. Poem writers, stop! I hate poetry. Keep it as far away from me as you possibly can. No poetry ever. Skip. Like I think he's uses his kid to pick up chicks. Like some guys use dogs to pick up chicks. I'm also using them while they're cute because they grow into like yeah. little jerks. <laughs> I'm to go to the party with daddy. It'll be fun. Five o'clock in the morning. Bunch of drunk assholes. Probably fall in the pool and drown. Don't give a family heirloom to some oh my God. reality TV show, bimbo. What, what are you are thinking? You, doing? you just met her. What 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 is possibly going through your head right now? Well, nothing's going through this head. It's all going through that head. I don't even know her that well, but I'm just going to give away the family jewels. Does entrepreneur mean unemployed? What does that mean? He's got a great mother. He just said there was like two friends. And we're friends. Two friends that had a kid together. Two friends that had a kid together. Oops. Like, uh, weren't they urban? I think she was an urban camper. Desiree. Does that mean homeless? Um, home free, I believe. Is the <laughs> politically correct term. I she hate, was home free. I hate camping because there's just so much carrying things when you camp. I'm surprised he's not like all oiled up like a stripper. Ugh. Ew. So gross. Put on a shirt. Look at all that booze. Booze in the kitchen. There's no food in there. But there's like 16 handles of liquor. Don't get in the pool, dude. Oh, no. Oh, God. I'm going to jump really far. Really far to where? Far in the air? I'm going to jump really far. That was really far. Wow, that's manly. Put yourself in the pool, and she's leaving. Where did you think that was going to get you? Stupid idiot. Yeah, so Men are such idiots. <laughs> Go get your own towel, weirdo. Bryden. <laughs> Don't name this kid. <laughs> Someone who also didn't teach him how to get a decent haircut. <laughs> Does banker mean like, like a teller at Chase? Or is he like a real banker? It's yeah. like the tone in his voice was like, oh, let's talk about how I accidentally ran over your cat. <laughs> Not, let's talk about how I tried to dance with you and you stepped on your dress. Big fucking deal. Yeah. Are you sleepy? I think he's been dipping into the hospital pharmacy. Pharmaceuticals? Yeah. He's been mixing a little bit too, ma too many pharmaceuticals. Larry! Is this, is his name is Larry. Dr. Larry. That's Dr. Just, Larry. That sounds really gross. One-legged push-ups? What is that? Is that a thing? One-legged push-ups? Am I supposed to be impressed? Because I'm I could give a shit. You can't say you have no filter if that just means you're a straight-up asshole. <laughs> it's not the same thing as having no filter. Judy, I can't go have sex with you in the fantasy suite. Is that really what he wants? I thought he was the kind That's of like a joke. Wants. No, he's thinking he's going to get some. Look, at, she's looking at the producers now. Come get me away from this She needs girl. to be equipped with like a rape whistle or something. <laughs> That's what she needs. Look at Larry. Larry's, Larry's so Larry. fucking gross. <laughs> you know, I had high hopes when he came out. I thought, yeah. He... No, he looks like a total smarmy douchebag. <laughs> he is just... Like a creepy <laughs> douchebag. Larry the doctor has to go home. Looks like he's gonna stab somebody in the eye. Tip: If you're on a journey, take it. Quit talking about it. Because every time you say journey, we're gonna have to take a drink. And I don't want to be that drunk. I don't want to be that drunk in the daytime. <laughs>